What's up guys, Game King Fiend of All Games here, and I'm back for another Drama Script Saturday. And I'm going to give you my prediction on what's going to happen on this week's pay-per-view uh, payback. Uh, every title seems to be on the line, which we haven't had a pay-per-view, not including WrestleMania, like this in a while. So that's 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 a start. That's a plus for me because I feel that every pay per view, all the titles for that for that certain brand, should be on the line. But let's start this off. Uh, first match on the card, you have Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. Uh, I already have the feeling that that's going to be the best match on the card, wrestling wise. I don't expect any outside interference from Triple H because that should be over and done with and Seth Rollins won so I don't really expect any outside inter interference at all so I'm I'm gonna go it's really too it's really too early for Samoa Joe to be losing <laughs> so I for some reason, I find this ending in a, in a like, a no contest or a disqualification or something. Like, no one's gonna cleanly. This match won't have a finish. Like, with Samoa Joe winning or Seth Rollins winning, something's gonna happen where this feud is gonna continue on to the next pay per view. That's how I feel. Uh, women's title: Bailey versus Alyssa Bliss. I have Bailey winning. That should be a good match to watch. Cruiserweight title: Nedville versus Austin Aries. I predict the interference by TJP, but this is a rematch from WrestleMania. Nedville versus Austin Aries had a great match at WrestleMania, so I predict they're going to have a better match the second time around at Payback. United States title: Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho. Kevin Owens is going to win because Chris Jericho is going on tour. We all know that. Uh, Raw tag team titles: the Hardy, Ver the Hardy Boys, Matt and Jeff Hardy versus Cesaro and Sheamus. They're going to keep riding that Hardy Boys wave till it dies. So I have the Hardy Boys retaining the titles. House of Horrors match. We don't even know what that is. And yet they've taken the WWE title off the line. So the title's not on the line anymore. Because I feel if it was on the line, it would make it too obvious that Randy Orton is going to win. Now with the title not on the line, you can have Bray Wyatt beat Randy Orton. And Bray Wyatt should beat Randy Orton because this is a match. And then you could just end that feud then and there. But this is thus proven that Bray Wyatt was sent to Raw last minute other than AJ Styles. And I think if they would have sent AJ Styles to SmackDown, it would have just killed SmackDown and Raw would have been overstacked. And last but not least, we have Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. And a regular match, apparently. Like, no stipulations, no, no DQ, it's just a normal match. Braun Strowman really needs to win this match. I mean, for him to do everything to Roman Reigns, everything to Kalisto, everything to the Big Show, and then just to have him lose to a spear, and then just to have him lose to a jump up punch and a spear would would really kill Braun Strowman's momentum. So I feel that WWE has to have Braun Strowman beat Roman Reigns clean in this match if they want to keep pushing Braun Strowman as a monster. But that's going to wrap this fast episode up of Drama Script to Saturday. If you've liked what you have witnessed, please subscribe and please leave any uh, thoughts on what you think might happen in this week's pay-per-view. And remember, guys, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next Saturday, guys, I'm Game Fiend, Fiend of All Games, and I'm out of here. Later and peace.